Hey everyone, it's NBA trainer Trey Slate. Let's get oh. All around the world. <laughs> and today we're going to be taking a look at some D'Angelo Russell clips. Alright, so in this first clip what we're going to see is D'Angelo Russell come off this uh, transition ball screen near the top of the key. He's going to snake it. And then what I like here is this quick eye check. So one, see is where his defender is at. And two, also try to freeze the big here, knowing that D'Angelo is a threat to throw either this uh, roll pass or throwback. Trying to just really kind of disengage him for a second. So let's go back and, and talk through a few things. So comes off the screen and snaking it. Snake refers to just coming back uh, off the off the butt of the screen. Screen set for D'Angelo to come this way. He's just going to go back against the grain. This uh, norm typically only can happen if the big is playing soft, which in this case he's playing really soft. He's way back. This is the big guard in the screen. See this gap? So it gives him the opportunity to snake. And what that does is makes the defender have to fight over harder, right? Instead of just being able to come off here and try to get back in front of the ball, now the defender's got to try to hook around this screen. Uh, offense has a really great advantage here. Does that quick eye check to s over his shoulder to see where that defender's at. See if he's hunting him down. Also, maybe a threat to throw this pass here. Keeps the defender kind of on his heels. Then rises up for the pull up. This is a really, really good clip and something that uh, guys that come off a lot of ball screens could definitely incorporate into their game to see this trail defender who's going to get a good contest or not and also kind of freeze that big for space to shoot. All right, so in this clip, we're going to have D'Angelo coming off a step up screen, which is a screen just towards the baseline. Uh, Joe Harris does a really good job of, of hitting Lowry on this and forcing a switch. Right, you could tell Danny Green's not ready for it. He just kind of wants to show until Lowry gets back. Notice he gets hit. She has to stay with him. D'Angelo does a great job of freezing him, thinking that he's about to throw this uh, screen to Joe Harris coming off this flare screen here. But he uses really good pace, gets uh, Danny Green out of position. Now he's got a step and he's gonna do what we just kind of saw earlier. Using those eyes to get that big to sit on his heels where he's got to play two. He's trying to stop the ball. Also worry about his man uh, rolling to the basket. D'Angelo is going to give him a look. Make sure he knows he's a threat to throw that ball to Jared Allen. And then going for a finish here. Give you another look at it. Really good clip. Really good screen. Use those eyes to get that big defender to lean that. Opposite goes into the finish. Another really good clip here of D'Angelo using really good pace, using those eyes. That's one thing he's, actually a, a few things he's really good at. Using his pace, changing speed, changing gears, kind of playing in gaps, making this guy play two people, right? He's got to guard the ball and also be worried about Jared Allen rolling to the rim and using those eyes to, to look off that big to get him to kind of stay one way or really just to commit somewhere and then D'Angelo is going to make a play. Goes in for that finish. Really good clip there. So one more look at it. Really good pace, really good eyes, his deception. All right, that's it for today. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be posting more videos like this and as well as basketball inspirational videos. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time.